Hello there guys, Francis Gray here and today we're going to be taking a look at and fixing this resin kit of tear loss from Jason and the Argonauts. Okay guys, so if you don't know who this character is, basically there's a scene in the classic movie Jason and the Argonauts where the crew go to a uncharted island and basically they're warned in advance to not take anything and uh, otherwise Talos will get them and uh, there's a couple of uh, members of the crew decide to go off on their own and explore and they take something that they shouldn't have. And then uh, this bad boy decides to come to life and basically uh, hunt them down and kill them. So it was a stop motion uh, figure uh, modelled by the late and great Ray Harryhausen. And uh, as, a, as me and myself, as when I was a child, I absolutely loved this character. That scene where uh, Hercules is looking up and Talos turns his head to look at the uh, the two the two. Uh, to ancient Greek sailors, the uh, yeah, it always sent chills up my spine. So uh, I've got a lot of uh, respect and a lot of love for this character. So uh, so yes, this is a private commission. So this has been sent to me. Now the actual resin kit features this character uh, on top of the uh, the treasure trove, if you like, uh, garden it uh, for the gods. But uh, the client, that, that, that part's fine, but the client uh, is not too happy with, uh, with the actual uh, figure itself. The reason is, is uh, there's two different display options. So there's, the, there's this head, which is looking down at uh, the, two, uh, the two Greek sailors. And then we have this other head, which is more uh, looking straight forward. So, in its first overall appearance, it's it's fine, it's okay. It's not completely movie accurate. The uh, paint job's a little bit uh, too clean, I suppose, because obviously it's supposed to be an old, neglected, rest, uh, rusted uh, statue. But uh, the main thing he wants me to fix is he's not a fan of this pin system. And as you can see there, there's uh, quite a lot of... Uh, give in the head so you know you could make them into a bobble head if you wanted uh, so yeah there's quite a bad seam line there and then just having the one pin like I just saw there it makes it wobble around this head I don't think is as bad but uh, still it's uh, as you can see there's a deep seam line there and there's a deep seam line running all the way around it so yeah so the plan is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully drill where these pre-drilled holes are and I'm going to house some really strong small magnets for a clip-on clip-off connection. <laughs> see there that uh, that fits that rather nicely so yeah so uh, what I'll go ahead and do next is I'll make a little tiny little bit of Ev's epoxy and uh, apply it to the inside of there Okay guys, 
so I'll go ahead and leave this to a couple of hours to dry so the Yves epoxy yeah, is nice and uh, hardened and then uh, I might lightly go over the sides of it with some uh, epoxy resin I'm not too sure yet, depends how good the uh, epoxy works uh, the Yves, sorry uh, so while we're waiting for that to dry we might as well crack on with the heads So for the next part, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, drill and pin the same again and uh, house some of the other, one, other magnets. So for the next part, I'm going to go in with some regular super glue and I'm going to super glue some of these smaller magnets, these small thin magnets, uh, in place. But before I go ahead and do that, I need to make sure which side is the negative and which side is the positive, which is the difference between the head sticking or the head being repelled away. Okay guys, we'll go ahead and we'll leave all that to dry. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and I've left this to uh, fully dry, so uh, this should be uh, nice and solid now. So a moment of truth, let's see how they work, how they fit. So already that is a much better on off connection than what uh than what the peg system was. So yep, same again, much better than the other one. So as you can see there's still a seam line there, so we'll fix that with some uh Abe's epoxy. Okay guys, going ahead and mix the Yves epoxy, so let's uh, sculpt this missing detail. Okay guys, so this one I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave that to dr leave that in place to dry because I think this has got the more 
intricate pattern. Whenever I try to move the head, it disturbs the back piece. So I'm gonna let that dry as is. The other one I'm not as worried about as much. And if it, there is a few little uh, creases or holes, we can always fill them in at a later stage. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and leave this to dry. Okay guys, so now that the Yaves epoxies had time to fully harden, I'm going to go in with the uh, trusty Dremel and I'm going to lightly sand around the sides and just try and make it uh, a little bit tidier and hopefully it'll flow a little bit better. Okay guys, that at first glance seems to be a lot better now. So uh, so yeah, so, so far so good, so uh, let's crack on with the next one. Okay guys, so same again, that's a lot better now. So yeah, so for the next stage, uh, I think we should uh, go ahead and grip prime it all. Okay guys, so for the next part I'm going to go in with some Model Air Colour Copper. Okay guys, so for the next part I'm going to go in with a watered down black acrylic wash and I'm going to try and get into all the little nooks and crannies and then gently wipe away the excess with a kitchen towel. Okay guys, so for the next part I'm going to go in with some model uh, olive green.
And for the last bit of airbrushing, I'm going to go in with some, uh, it's just titled Blue, same again from Model Air. So for the next part I'm going to go in with some bright brass and I'm going to use a stipple brush and I'm going to dry brush some highlights. Okay guys, so for the next part I want to go ahead and I want to recapture that like aged uh, bluey green kind of uh, tint that uh, bronze statues get over time. Uh, if you if you pause some of the uh, movie stills from the film, you can see that uh, Talos does have this uh, this bronzed uh, aged effect. So the best way to capture that is I'm going to go in with uh, this colour here on a watercolour I'm going to lay it on quite thick and then I'm going to take some clean kitchen towel uh, and then what gently wipe away the excess and then leave it to uh, basically dry and then once it's dried it'll get into all the little nooks and crannies and it'll give the same effect <laughs> As you can see there guys, that is a world of difference. So I'll just crack on with the other pieces. Okay guys, I'll go ahead and I'll leave that a few hours to dry. Okay guys, so that has uh, worked really nicely. So I don't know if they're showing up on the camera, but that gives a real all aged bronze look. So I'm uh, really happy with that. So uh, for the one of the final stages, or it might be the final stage, uh, I'm just going to go in with some uh, copper acrylic and uh, I'm just going to very lightly dry brush just the end highlights just to give it a bit more of a uh, uh, oomph I suppose He's finished.
Okay, so I've had a blast making this, so uh, repainting it, should I say. So, quick disclaimer, uh, I didn't paint the, the base, only the figure itself. So, those photos and the video that you've just seen, the base was painted by somebody else, and I just painted the main figure on top. So, a huge thank you also to the client for sending me that footage, because I didn't get the base sent to me, so I couldn't film it altogether. So, I had to ask the client if he would be kind enough to supply some photos and supply some video. So I'm really uh, thankful that uh, they came through for us. So thank you if you're watching. Um, so yeah, so if you've enjoyed this uh, build, please smash that like button and share on Facebook and Twitter because it helps new people find the YouTube channel, which I'm always appreciative of. Thank you for your help. If you have any comments, comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscription button, or that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future builds. So once again, I'm Francis Gray and this is the Tear Loss Fix and Repaint video. I'll see you in the next build.